here we have the Tatara steel frame. It's dry fitted right now. Just waiting on screw delivery. I've already started to piece out the old A net A8. I took the rods in to get them aligned. If you haven't done that, I'd recommend it or replace them. The ones from A net are not the best which is why it's sitting in pieces. When the screws get delivered later today, we'll put this thing together. Uh, what did I do to my Tentara? Uh, well, first I deburred it with a standard file. Then I took it out to the garage and I hit it with a grinding wheel. Uh, this is the 304 stainless steel uh, but it had some marks on it from laser cutting. Uh, I had two options. One was to polish it to glass. That would have been pretty. Another would have been to hit it with a wire wheel and give it a kind of a brushed uh, finished industrial look. That's the option I went with. I think it turned out rather nice. It'll be easy to buff out any uh, future scratches that way. Okay. left side of the frame. So you take it, you pick it up, set your frame down. And it kind of snaps together like Legos. It might take a moment to get it all snapped in there. Take it apart, get it in there, whatever you need to do to get this thing going. Down in. Just like that. Alright, we got this side in. Snap, snap. Much the basic frame right there. This thing is together. It's not wobbling. It's good. Uh, the only other thing that we can do now is put the feet on. Uh, I would highly recommend anti-vibration feet. Uh, I got these on Amazon. screwed together it's time to start taking apart the A net and going over some of the changes we're gonna make one of the changes is I'm gonna replace these spring couplings here with some plumb couplings that'll help with some Z wobble and other things Thought this would be a good time to do it. Uh, this is a smoke alarm that's a hardwired smoke alarm and it has a relay in it and it automatically turns off the power when it detects smoke. Uh, just a safety. Automatically turns off the power to the printer when it detects smoke. 
If anybody's interested, I can put a link to it. So basically the uh, Y chain, cable chain that I'm using isn't going to work with the Tatera. That's okay. I'm sure another one will come out and uh, we'll be able to move forward from there. But for now, I'll just go back to the old fashioned way of having the plug on the back and uh, no stress relief. I don't use the heat pad all that often. Uh, so I think it'll be okay for right now. Uh, so let's move forward. on the Tatara frame. We got new couplers. We got the bed with the belt nice and level. I went ahead and mounted that up there. Now <clears throat> my X chain mounts nicely but I could not use the Y chain. Uh, it was rubbing right there. I had the Y chain where you mount the bed on the side. Uh, so I'm gonna have to look for a redesign or do something else. For now, I just don't have my bed hooked up. I'm not gonna be using it uh, much anyways. Let's turn it around here. We got our electronics all run nice and neat. Probably could be cleaned up just a little bit more. gonna mount this LCD cable a little bit nicer but I got some LED strip lights I'm gonna mount so uh, I did go ahead and I don't necessarily recommend you do this but I didn't have any two millimeter screws so I very carefully tapped the frame and the switch to accept three millimeter screws Alright. Well, 
Okay, now well, we are all plugged in. Let's go ahead and flip the switch and see what happens. Fired up. One in Marlin. Alright, here we go. First print on the new Tantara. I don't have the LCD in yet. I'm printing a test cube with 10% infill. I increased my printing speed from uh, 3,000 to 6,000 millimeters a minute. 